Yo, what is up YouTube, it's me Duck back with another Fortnite video. Today I'm talking about Save the World and why buying it is a good idea. So let's just get right into it. Starting with, what is Save the World? Well, when you launch up Fortnite, you're greeted with two game modes, Battle Royale and Save the World. Most people just ignore Save the World, so I imagine not many people know exactly what it is. Well, Save the World is a zombie survival game, to sum it up in three words. Basically, 1% of the world's population is left and you're a part of that and you and your friends have got to go back got to go into a storm and fight the husks. The game's zombies that is. And you know, save dis like survivors. The missions usually revolve around you finding an objective, then um, you know the the objective will like help you like go on with the story. Like it goes with the story like um, help you find more survivors and stuff like that. And yeah, so you want to find the objective, build a fort around it, and you know defend it from the husks by you know killing them, all while doing other course side quests, getting more characters or heroes. Uh, so yeah, there are four types of heroes uh, as of now: soldiers, constructors, outlanders, and the one everyone uses, ninjas. Oh, and did I mention you get hoverboards? Well, you do. So yeah, it's a pretty cool zombie survival game. So why should you get it? Well, it's a ton of fun. It's different from most um, zombie survival games, and more importantly, thousands and thousands of freaking V bucks. Seriously, there are so many ways to get V bucks in this game. So you might be thinking to yourself, why the hell should I buy this game now? It's going to be free in a couple of months. I think like in the summer. Well, I think when the game goes free, one of two things is going to happen. Either all the items in the battle royale store will go like be like really expensive, maybe double or triple the price, since everyone can get V bucks easily. Or Save the World will just make it less easy, or just stop all winning V bucks altogether. The quest, I mean, as a one is bound to happen if Epic are smart. I mean, I would do that if I would work to Epic. I would, I would probably do the take the battle royale route, like make everything more expensive, because that would just make sense. Anyway, but yeah, if you don't care about Battle Royale skins or V-Bucks in general, I'm sure just game, get the game when it's out. However, like, you do get the Founders stuff if you get it now. But yeah, I bought it because I just couldn't wait until late this summer to get this game and, you know, V-Bucks was like something extra, but it's still pretty decent, you know? Anyway, let's talk about all the ways to get V-Bucks. First of all, just by logging in every day, you'll be awarded with V bucks after every few days up to like I think 800 V bucks after like 100 days of logging in. The, so yeah, I think I'm on like 150 and I'm gonna get 300 in like a few days. The next way of uh, getting things that get uh, V bucks is by doing storm defense missions, which give you 100 V bucks every time you complete one. Storm defense missions are missions that you have to do every so often to get into the next mission. And I made a video on it last week, me doing it with my friend, you can check that out. So yeah, like you have to do them and then you get awarded for 100. Plus there's another mission that if you do like a certain amount of storm defences, you get another like 50 V-Bucks. So yeah, next way is by doing daily quests and other type of quests that give you 50 to 100 V-Bucks. And you get these every day and they stack up to 3, just like BR. And you can abandon them if you feel like it, like it's impossible. The quest are usually things like killing husks, breaking random stuff hidden around the cities, and other things like that, like uh, finding areas of the map. And yeah, another way of uh, getting V bucks is through the collection book. Not many actually. I don't think any, not many people knew about this, but the collection book is where you like you can put heroes, weapons, survivors, and defenders. And other stuff that you like you don't need but when you put them in like, you can't get them back and it, when you do put things in you level up the uh, the actual collection book and at level 6 26 and I think 36 and so on you get 500 V-Bucks each time so yeah I think you can go on and keep getting V-Bucks but it's not so easy if you actually are playing the game properly and not just doing it for the V-Bucks like um, you'll like, have to think what things you want to put in to the collection book and what you don't want to put in because like it's, it's quite hard to plus not everything gives you a lot of xp or heroes give you the most xp but you don't want to put all your heroes in there because you want at least one hero but yeah that's like pretty much all the ways you can get 
I have V-Bucks. The first day of playing, I got a thousand V-Bucks. The second day of playing, I got another thousand V-Bucks. There's two thousand V-Bucks in two days. I mean, I made my money back pretty much straight away since. Yeah, it's just a great way to get V-Bucks. And it's a great game in general, like shooting down zombies, building forts, building really cool forts, or just really simple forts. But yeah, anyway, even without V-Bucks, the game's quite fun. At least it was for me since I was waiting for it for so long. Uh, if you guys have the money to buy it, do it. I think right now it's like £31 on Epic, on the Epic Games site, but you can get it for like £18 on G2A, or wait until it's on half price again to get it. At least that's what I did. It's £18 on half price on Epic, so yeah. At least that's a standard edition. The deluxe edition on G2A is about 30 quid, I think. And on Epic, I don't know, it's a bit, a bit more expensive. But yeah, it's pretty good. If you do wait for the summer, like, another reason to get it now is, like, so when everyone gets in the summer, you'll be much more ahead than them. And you can, like, teach people, teach people how to play that game in the summer. And, you know, more experience, more V-Bucks, more everything, you know. It's just a great game. And it's a great head start to get it on early access. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe for more. Join Discord, links in the description. And I'll see you all in the next one. Wah.